Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are going to be building a small vehicle with a large gun. Now this is something that I usually do, however, today we're actually going to start with the gun first, and hopefully we can have a lot of them, lightly armoured, uh, going into war against something else, if that makes sense. So we're going to have light armoured tanks, however the front is going to be very armoured, uh, and we're going to be quite light in themselves anyway if that makes any sense so hopefully we'll go for around 10 to 15 tons uh, that is still quite heavy but also very light at the same time so hopefully good gun nice armor on the front quite fast let's see how this goes Okie dokie guys, we are going to build something hopefully quite interesting. I'm assuming that it'll work out, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to make it very short. We're also going to make it very skinny. Hopefully this will still be able to have the uh, the tank, uh, sorry, the gun on it. Uh, I'm assuming that it will, but I really don't know. So we're going to make it skinnier like this. That seems about right, to be totally honest with you. So we'll keep it like that. Right, enter freeform. Let's go. Yes. All right, cool. So... We're going to grab this piece, and we're going to grab this piece, and they're going to come up like so. Very good. We're then going to delete the uh, thingamabobby. We're going to delete the fenders, and that's fine too. Right. So, now I'm going to go to firepower. We're going to go to the cannon. Um, we're actually in the experimental branch, so there is actually uh, a new muzzle, as you guys can see. It's the IS-152 uh, from the USSR. Pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to go for a 100 mil and a 1 meter shell. So 100 right here. There we go. And a 1 meter shell. That's what we're going to use. Uh, we're going to have to build the gun onto that. And hopefully it will go well. With that being said, the length of it needs to go longer. So we can add segments. And we can make them longer as they go. Uh, and they're going to need to be absolutely ginormous. Which is interesting. <laughs> they're going to have to be like... Huge. Alright, one more. There we go. And wham. And then one more on top of that. Have we added it? Yes, we have. A uh, little bit less. And there we go. So that's how big the barrel needs to be. <laughs> uh, and the penetration on that should actually be really good. Unfortunately, it's not super, super good. But that looks alright. That doesn't. That surely isn't right. That surely isn't right. We're going to go with higher. Let's go with 120 by 1.2 here we go 130 by 1.2 that seems about right to me to be honest all right and then we should be able to extend it oh wow wait hang on if we extend it even more this is going to be insane this is going to be absolutely insane it's huge it's absolutely massive all right cool continue there we go and that seems about right excellent so that's how long the barrel is going to be <laughs> that's not right surely Alright, so what we're going to do with that then is, uh, these pieces, we need them all to go in in the correct locations. Uh, or the correct places, I should say. So this is actually going to come down. Actually, no, it's not. Hang on. Leave that there. We're going to bring this backwards to here. There we go. Excellent. And now we've got a pretty flat-fronted bit. Alright, cool. Grab this, 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 and this. There we go. Extend those backwards like so. Very nice. Uh, then just grab the top bits, there we go, and extend those backwards as well, and there we go. Pretty nice looking so far. We're also going to extend this bit back as well, uh, because we should. Nice! Okay, that totally works. Right, so now, we're going to go to faces, we're going to extend this upwards, we're going to bring it backwards all the way back to here. Yes, alright, excellent. Uh, and essentially, we're just going to go ahead and bring this forwards as well, and extend this out sideways, and we should be good. So faces... Extend all the way to the edge. There we go. Fantastic. And then angle this in using these guys. There we go. All right. Excellent. We don't want to go in too far, but that's fine. Nice. All right. Faces. We're going to grab all of these. Extend it upwards. It's going to be quite tall. And go backwards. There we go. All right. Pretty weird, but that'll do. Very good. All right. Go to points. Grab this one. This one. Bring it forwards to there. Okay, that looks about right. Very good. And then we want to grab these guys, extend them up all the way to here. There we go. Extend it inwards. Yep. All right, cool. And slightly up. And there we go. All right, very nice. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, so the gun is going to have to go on to there, which is, um, yeah, obviously it's huge. But that's fine. Let's go with it. Let's go ahead and try and find ourselves a gun mount uh, that we actually like and that will fit on. Like this. I mean, 
I feel like that barrel is far too long, to be fair. So we might have to figure that out a little bit better than what we currently have. But honestly, that's pretty cool. I like it. We haven't gone with a turret. We are going with a fixed, fixed turret. Uh, and I think that'll work out for us, maybe. I feel like that barrel is a little bit too long, though. So we need to figure that out. But yes, it does currently fit. It does fit. So go to mobility. Go to fuel. Get rid of most of that. We'll go with 60 liters. There we go. Excellent. Go to firepower. Go to rounds. Get rid of most of this. We'll have 10. And we'll have 10. There we go. Excellent. And that is fine by me. Very nice. So far, so good. Okie dokie. So go to base. We're going to go ahead and grab all of these pieces like so. We're going to extend them. Uh, they're actually going to come backwards like this. That's fine. Uh, and that is actually... That's fine. There you go. We're also going to go ahead and extend this bit. Uh, if we can, extend it. We're going to bring it backwards to about there. And we're going to have this attached onto there. Uh, which hopefully should be pretty good. There we go. Gives us a little bit of extra room. We're already at 13 tons. But that's okay. Good. Very good. Okay, so now it's for the track's turn. We're actually going to go ahead and bring this... Uh, actually, it's going to have to stay around there. That's fine. We're going to get rid of the uh, return rollers. There we go. We're going to bring these backwards. Bring this backwards to there. And make them bigger. All right, hang on. Diameter of these guys. There we go. Excellent. All right, and if we could lift all of them upwards, that would be great. Or the actual tank itself needs to come down, which we can do. So grab, grab this. Make it come downwards to there. Excellent. All right, cool. Now, this is fine. This is actually fine. We're at 14 tons. We're at the heavy end of what we said we were going to do, but that's okay. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and change all of these to look how we want it to look. I think I'm going to go with these guys yet again. I always go with them, but that's fine. There we go. And I think that is actually a okay. I think it'll be okay. Right, track segments are going to look like this. And honestly, I think we can make it a little bit skinnier. In fact, a lot skinnier. And that means we can probably make it lighter by making these guys skinnier as well. So removing one of these, probably a good idea. Width, will bring it upwards a little bit. Actually, no. Bring this down, add another one. All right, and make it, make it smaller as well. So width, there we go. So we're at 14 tons. Idler wheels, uh, that's what that is. Road wheels, make that skinnier as well. Oh, that is a lot better. Very good. And then the sprocket obviously is at the right thing anyway. So there we go. That seems okay to me. Very nice. Okie dokie. So now we need a way for the crew to actually get into this. Uh, realistically, like in real life, it would be open if that makes sense. What do I mean it would be open? Hang on. This would be upside down. Uh, the rear end would actually be open. So getting in and out of this thing would back actually be very easy because you're just climbing and out the back. However, it's obviously not open with what we've got here, but that's fine. So, we're going to put a hatch in the middle as well. That'll be for the rounds to pop out the back. I think that's a good idea. View hatches. Obviously, the driver needs to be able to see out, so we'll put that... What if the driver was down there? No, it probably shouldn't be. We'll put the driver to the side right there. Uh, we need a gunner's sight as well, off to the other side. Actually, right in the middle. We'll go with that. Excellent. Uh, Commander's coupler. Think of my bobby. We'll put that right on here, but make it smaller. Uh, and it can go right there. Excellent. Antennae. We'll put one of those right there. But we'll actually make it go downwards into this. Very nice. That's good. Stowages. Right, this is where things get kind of interesting. Stowages don't usually fit on my tanks. Alright, and this is kind of no exception. Like, we could put it on, but obviously it would have to be this small. And that's just tiny, but we can do it. Hang on. There we go. One more. There we go. All right, cool. So that should be on both sides. Excellent. Yes, it is. All right, good. Uh, lights. Obviously, we do need lights. That. What the? Why are they so big? Hang on. Make these smaller, but we'll also drag them down inside as well. Very good. Uh, and then we'll have rear lights, obviously, on here. There we go. Excellent. Uh, I want one of these to go on the side of this. Actually, no. It'll go on the front. We'll have these on the front. So I'll do that right there. I'll have this right next to it. Like so. And then we'll have these guys. I always do these guys. But there you go. On this side. On this bit. There we go. Excellent. On the rear. We'll have them on the top. And on the back. Back here. 
And that should be good. That actually looks excellent to me. We'll also add one of these to right there. Very nice. And that's fine by me. I actually really rate this so far. This is pretty good. So we're also going to add these guys to right there. That's going to be quite good. Uh, and I think we're all right. We also got this added in the recent uh, update as well. So we'll actually add one of these to this side. There you go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a ball gun right there. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Good. We're going to have no riveted panels. And that seems fine by me. This actually looks good so far. I like it. All right. So what I said earlier about it being lightly armored. Uh, obviously, the sides are not going to be armored very much at all. However, the front is going to be severely armored. In fact, very armored. We're going to go up to 120 mil. We're then going to grab these guys. Uh, actually, just this one and this one. And it's going to be up to 120 mil as well. This one and this one are actually going to be very lightly armored, considering. So we're going to go with 70. This is going to come down to 70. And that's fine. All right, good. So again, front is very armored. Sides are not armored at all. That's okay. All right. That barrel looks far too big. That barrel looks far, 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 far too big. But that's all right. So, um... Smooth angle? What would this look like smoothed? It's kind of interesting, I suppose, but not amazing. I think it looks worse when it's angled like that. Let's make it a little bit less. There we go, but we'll round off these edges. That seems good. Alright, nice. How do we um, use less weight? Currently we are very fast, but we'll go with a light engine. Alright, there we go. Uh, and that seems fine. Good! Yes. Alright, tracks, that's all done. Um, fuel, obviously we'll have a little bit, but that's okay. I we'll have 60 liters. That's fine. External fuel tanks would be nice to have. Um, they're going to have to go on the very back, though. Kind of like this. All right, cool. Go to the engine again. We need the vents on the rear. I kind of want to do it so that it is into there. That's fine. And then we'll have these guys fit on the bottom back here. There we go. Just like that. Excellent. That's good. All right, cool. So, remove some gears because we're not very heavy at all. There we go. Remove some rear gears. Uh, set this to less. In fact, it'll go with three. There we go. And that should be fine. Nice. Yeah, very nice, actually. This should be fine. So, now we're at 17 tons. Um, we've got our armor on the front. We have no armor on the sides. We have 10 mil on the side. Uh, and that's what we're going to go with. We're also going to extend this a little bit. We're going to have 40 mil right there. All right, we're at 17 tons. We're a little bit more than what I wanted, but that's okay. All right, spawn it in. Does it move? It drives. Yeah, we're good. So, unfortunately, the turret that I've used does not actually have um, a sideways system. Uh, which sucks, actually. That sucks a lot. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to replace it with one that does. I think that works. So, cannon. There we go. Da -da -da. Gun mount. Very nice. We're going to go with one of these. Right there in the center. And that's probably fine. Yeah. Alright, I like it. Let's see what kind of damage it does to uh, something we spawn in. What should we go with? What should we actually go with? 71 ton. This is the thing we've just built. Recently. Can we kill it is the question. And also, can we take a round from it in the face? Who knows? Oh, we didn't kill it. It also didn't kill me. Okay. Oh. I'm falling down the hole. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We just need to make sure we are always angled towards it. And then we should be good. It might even have thicker armor than me, to be fair. But let's hit it there. Woo! No, that didn't work. That didn't work. Look at how hot the round is on the floor. Alright, but we are taking rounds. That's all I needed to know. Alright, very good. So, even though we've got a cannon that is this long, we still cannot penetrate the armor on my 71-ton tank. That's really not good, but that's whatever. Right, so now we're going to go ahead and add some camo to this. We are actually going to go with... I want to go with that, to be honest. We'll go with that. Uh, decals, we'll go with something here as well. I don't know. Maybe this. 
Oh, a Polish tank. Actually, is that alright? Yeah, we'll go with a Polish tank. And go make it a lot smaller. Whack it right on the side. The camouflage now means nothing. Because of how big that symbol is. And how bright it is. And we'll put this right about here. Okay, excellent. That seems fine. Right, so, with that being said... I now think that the paint is wrong. Yeah, for a Polish tank, I don't think it would be like that, so... I think it would be, like, more grey. I really don't know, but we're going to go with the grey tank. That seems fine. We'll go with that. Right, so it's 17 tons. Uh, obviously, our barrel is huge. We can make this better, probably, by changing this. So, remove some of the lengths of barrel. We'll make this smaller, 110. And that seems fine, currently. That actually seems okay. Yep. Alright, extend it one more. Make it a little bit smaller. Wait, that didn't work. Hang on. There. Okay, now we're good. 192 mil. It looks a little bit better in terms of it being smaller. I think that'll be okay. Maybe. Alright, let's save this and uh, we'll go to war. Alright, so that, like, lowering of the barrel actually did make sense because now we only weigh 15 tons, which is exactly what our thing said at the beginning. So, that's actually completely fine. Let's put ourselves in a scenario now and see if it'll actually work. So, crossroads. Oh, this is not the one that I wanted to do, to be honest. This is definitely not the one that I wanted to do, but let's go for it. There is now... How many of us? Five? Why aren't you moving? Why are they not moving? We're against a king tiger and you guys are staying still. That is insane. That is actually insane. Oh, we took another round. We're taking rounds from a king tiger. That in itself is unreal. All right, let's continue. Why are they not moving? Why are they not moving? All right, hopefully the king tiger keeps shooting at them. And we'll just get up alongside and shoot it in the side. Yeah, it's still shooting at them. None of them have currently died. Oh, now they're moving. And they're shooting back. But they are going sideways, which means they'll die. If they go sideways, they are more, li more likely to get shot in, a, in an armored bit. Sorry, an unarmored bit. That's what I meant. There we go. See how we can take rounds on the front and be fine? Yeah. We don't want to shoot this in the front. We really don't. But if it's all we've got... Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed. We want to be on a flat section. Also, we really, really need a handbrake in this game. We do. We need a handbrake. Alright, I'm getting close. I'm getting real close. We're going to get very, very close in a second. And I'm going to turn sideways and shoot it in the side and it will die. Whoa, I thought that was going to kill me there. Alright, keep running. Oh! Whoa! They killed it from miles away! They shot it in the... Oh, maybe the side of the turret? Let's go see where they, where they hit. They might have shot it in the side of the turret. No, probably not. I don't know where they killed it. Anyone see an entry? An entry wound? I do not see an entry wound. Did they shoot it in the side? Where did they hit it? Yeah, there. Look, they shot it in the side of the turret. And it killed it. Amazing. That is actually sick. So this little thing... Destroys a king tiger. And also doesn't die unless you show the side to it. That's cool. That's very cool. Alright, so what we've done is we've changed it to uh, the railway map. So obviously the enemy has to cross the railway. Uh, obviously all of my guys are just doing whatever they want. Because I don't have a radio man. A radio man? We could add a radio operator in here, but we haven't. Um, and everybody's just going around. Obviously we can kill king tigers. So if we come across a panther... We will be able to destroy that too, so that makes sense. Uh, there currently is no enemies. There are no enemies. Oh, they're here now. I see one. I do see one. I don't think my friendly tanks will be able to aim very well. Purely... Oh no, they can go sideways now, can't they? Oh no, they can't. Oh, we need a traverse system on this. Otherwise, my friendly tanks will have a really hard time. That's not good. Alright, well anyway, let's continue. And we'll be alright. Oh, there's an enemy. 
Yeah, aiming is difficult when you have to use the tracks, but that's fine. There we go. We've hit it. Why are you sideways to the enemy? What are you doing? That's so annoying. I can't control my, my friendly tanks to be able to face their front only. Alright, we got it, I think. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Continue. What, what's my friendly tank doing? He's retreating. They're retreating. That's good. Alright, excellent. Let's take this guy out. There we go. Next. The gun actually fires my tank backwards. That's crazy. What's going on over there? I don't know what's happening over there. Alright, let's make sure we take out this one because he's shooting at our friends. There we go. Excellent. Who's next? I see some shots coming from behind the hills. Let's go that way. Yeah. Oh, we got this. We got this. This is a cool little tank. I like it. You know, I put a vent system on, but I didn't actually put an exhaust system on, so that's not amazing, to be fair. I think I did just get shot in the side. I need to make sure... Trick shot. No, hang on, change tank, quick. We'll use this one. Shoot that one, because it's going to shoot us in the side. Oh, I took his tracks off, but I haven't done anything else. That's not good. I need to be angled enough so that the guy on the left doesn't shoot me. How is this tank still alive? Alright, here we go. Alright, that one's dead. Next is that one. And then we are good to go. If we had a traverse system on the gun, that one would be fine. Technically, but it's just not in this situation. Alright, ready? Victory! Do -do 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 -do. Nice! Oh, this thing this thing is awesome, actually. The whole fact that it's very angled is actually very, very beneficial to itself. Uh, but obviously, if we get shot in the back, we're dead. We've only got 10 mil of armor there. If we get shot in the side, we're pretty much dead. We've only got 10 mil of armor all around there as well. If we get shot in the top, we're dead. Uh, but if we get shot in the front, we'll survive everything. So, there you go. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Let's add an exhaust before we actually forget, because obviously we need one. Um, and I honestly think it should go somewhere interesting. I don't know where, though. But, uh, oh, I guess it's just going to go on the bottom. The way we can do this is we can have the exhaust sort somewhat fit in with each other. That's sick. That's actually really cool. Um, but, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this so far. I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.